Hey, um, video work log 5. Uh, I'm tired. I've been working on this to try to get the final touches, and as I might have mentioned this in a previous work log, but I fried my PTH, the 3.3 volt regulator. So I've been waiting for a new one to come in, or actually I haven't even ordered it. I'm going to order two, one for my first one. Worst one, one for my next portable, which I'm going to be building to sell. All right, here it is. This isn't finished, but it's close. I, you see, I did something with the D-pad. I just kind of cut out a bit of it of a PS2 controller, kind of mounted it using Legos, and I think it looks nice, especially since it's kind of an afterthought. Start buttons in. All these buttons are in. The screen um isn't hooked up yet, but I can power it up. Pretty easy. Now we're going to turn around to the back. The cart slot's not completely mounted. There's one more wire, and then i got to actually kind of fasten the thing in place and then put this cart slot cover over it. And, it, and it's nice. It's, I know everyone's like, why use the ZN25 blah, 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 blah. But seriously... You know, it's better than the 2 million PSP cases out there. So, shut up. Alright, let me show you what I got going on back here. I have three switches. This is to switch with this button here between left and uh, left and Z. Um, here's my power switch. This is main power. That way, I, I was going to add in like a Nintendo 64 power which I might add one in, but I doubt I will. I mean, so whenever I do AVN, it's going to have the Nintendo on, but whatever. It's not perfect. This cable hooks into my screen. Here you got your audio in, video in, audio out, video out. Other shoulder button. Here's something I'm proud of. This, um, all four controller ports. You don't see this much on a ZN casing. It was basically this or an internal screen, and my screen was a lot bigger than the PS1 screen. So it was kind of hard. But, and then this little indent up here is for your light. So, I mean, it's nice. And also, I built this little stand here using some heat shrink tubing, some screws, and some hot glue to kind of give it a rubber top. And this makes it where I can set it down and not be on the cart slot. Because, like I said, one of the points of this was set it down and use an, another controller, which I think would kind of be nice for the car. You know, I have a portable DVD player in my car. So, yeah. Uh, another thing is, lots of people have been asking about the screen, and I'm just going to say, I don't know where, what this is. I will say this. Go on to eBay and just search for 5-inch monitor. Like, I do this, and every once in a while, like once a week or so, I'll find something similar to this. It's just a 5-inch screen. It pops up, but you gotta, you gotta search. I mean, here's the thing about a portable. You gotta, you gotta work for one. Like, you just can't, boom, make one. Another thing is, I might, 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 um, be posting online instructions at Instructables how to build a simple Nintendo, portable Nintendo. It means without all the, you know, extra stuff. Like, some of the extra stuff might be, you know, your AV in, which the reason I had that is because I'm thinking about getting another game system like a PlayStation or a Xbox. And I kind of think it'd be cool just to be able to hook it up to the screen, even though, you know, it wouldn't really be useful, but whatever. And... So, yeah. Also, if anyone has questions about the batteries, I might have already gone over this. But, yeah, I already did go over this. Yeah, they're batteries from, like, a drill. I got a smart charger. So, yeah. See ya.